Thank you again, all, um, you all, for taking the time out today to speak with me. I appreciate it. Of course. Okay, I wanted to get started asking about the development for this third season of the show and what that process was like of working together and the writer, writing team for the show and really collaborating um, as producers and writers as well and really figuring out how you wanted the, the season coming up to really progress on Sure. I mean, so much, as you said, was sort of knowing that this was our last season, thinking about what we wanted to do with it and what we wanted everybody's endings to be. So I think starting from day one, we all sat down and thought, OK, we have eight of these. How are we going to best use our real estate? How are we going to service every character? What are we most excited to see? Where do we want everyone ending up? And we kind of built out from there. there. There's something really lovely about knowing going into a season that it's your last season because it really allows you to plan very meticulously and to sort of lay things out exactly as you want to. Um, so that was a real, a real gift for us and for our whole writing staff to just sort of be able to plan in that methodical way and sort of work towards giving everyone, you know, their ultimate final endings. While I was watching um, the show over the past couple of days, I also like the fact that there's new relationships forming and old relationships continuing. And what was that experience like of really working on every like kind of romantic relationship in general and really figuring out how they would progress um, over the season as well? Yeah, I think uh, two sort of newer relationships this season were the uh, Felix Pilar storyline as well as the Lake. Lucy storyline and then sort of honoring where Felix and Lake had come from that there was a deep friendship there as well a certain kind of love there as well that we needed to sort of honor um, and th those were just really fun stories to work on I think especially Lake Lucy which is a queer story between two young women which we hadn't done on the show before is a very different kind of relationship uh, than Victor whose coming out story is so much about his identity and the struggle to come out Whereas Lake and Lucy just, you know, they're dating and, and it's no big deal. And, uh, and, and it's just a different, it's less about labels. And so um, it, it really provided for us an opportunity to say like, there's a thousand different kinds of queer stories out there and, and no one is representative of um, an entire community's experience. And also speaking about the friendships as well um, throughout the season, what was that experience like as well to really figure out how you wanted the friendships to go especially as the um the kids are the teenagers are really finishing up high school and um, what was that experience like to really focus on them really maybe saying goodbye to their friends and really figuring out um where their friendships would go next at their graduation yeah i mean i remember thinking back to high school which is, is like it, you can go right back there like that your friendships are are as intense and as important as your romantic relationships and so sort of like as you're you're thinking about what's next for you we're not always going to be seeing each other every day you like there you just start to i remember feeling so overwhelmed when it was all heading towards its its end and that was a feeling that we definitely tried to capture this season especially in our last couple of episodes as our characters really begin to consider what does their life look like after high school um and that sort of the these moments of of all being together all the time are are very precious and fleeting. And also, besides the relationships um, between the friends, I also like the growing relationships that um, the teens have with their parents as well, and the dynamics really changing um, with them as well. And what was that experience like to really further develop, um, like Victor in particular, with his parents and his mom? And what was that experience like to concentrate on the parent and um, child relationships as well? Sure, yeah. I mean, I think our philosophy with all our characters is that they're all deeply flawed, but everyone is really <laughs> doing the best that they can and figuring themselves out. And we kind of, you know, we applied that philosophy to everyone in our young cast and all of our parents as well. You're not going to find any evil parents amongst our group. You're just going to find parents that are flawed, real people. And obviously, Anna in particular, her character had this real journey of coming from this place where she'd been, you know, raised with this very religious background and really was struggling to wrap her head around her son being gay. And she really had to figure it out. She really had to look deep inside herself and realize that at the end of the day, nothing was more important to her than making her son feel loved and valued. And 
how do you reconcile that with what you've been taught your whole life? And we really put her through it. Um, but yeah, we, we really were, we really leaned into giving everyone a journey like that, where, where they sort of started in one place and then had to really stretch and grow by the end of the series. Okay. I think that was me late, but thank you all again for taking the time and I appreciate it. Of course. Thank, thank you so much. So much Karen. Thanks. Great. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.